obviously I was I was lined up to face uh, Dimitris Andrade for the WBO middleweight title, but with the coronavirus and all this stuff going on, um, it's very difficult to make a fight. So I didn't have to take this fight, but it was my choice to to be active and and keep busy, you know. So it's a potential banana skin, as they say, but. I want to be active going into the biggest fight in my career when, when that opportunity does come. I'm not going to go and look fancy, I'm going there to do a job. As soon as the opportunity presents itself to, to take him out, then that's what's going to happen. You know, I don't, you don't get paid overtime, as they say, and I'm looking to get in and get out, get the job done in, in style. <laughs> You know, he wanted to sit around and wait for this title, world title fight, but if he had, it would have been a long time coming. And he's filled up that space in with some good wins, some great wins. Atlantis Fox, Joe Mullinder, uh, you know, he's had some great wins. So he's kept himself active. And I said to him, look, it doesn't matter who the level of opponent is. Fill that space in constructively. You know, keep moving, keep active, keep your weight down. It's probably the, the best two years he's had because he's never blown up in between camps. He's always kept his weight level. It's been an easier uh, way to train and make weight. And he's, he's been more dedicated because he's enjoying what he's doing living in Sheffield. I think, you know, Dom has changed me a lot as well, not, not just as a fighter, but mentally and as a person, he's really bringing the best out of me. Um, you know, he knows how to give me fire and so, I feel, you know, since the day I've come to the gym, me and Dom really clicked, and and he's worked me out as a person. You know, the the, the performances are speaking for themselves now. You can't look at any of Liam's fights from the Heffron fight onwards. What hasn't been exciting to watch? So he's delivering every time. People are switching on to, you know, turning on to watch Liam Williams. They know he's an exciting fighter. You know, he's in there to cause some damage and hurt somebody. That's boxing. So, you know, we'll go around when we go down to London before the fight. We'll be walking around shopping centres and people will be stopping him and, you know, telling him how great he is and they love his style of boxing. He's, his popularity is, you know, really rising. So we're going to be patient for this fight, you know, for the world title fight. I, I spoke to Eddie Hearn uh, recently and he said we're looking maybe January, February for this fight. It could be late, as late as March or April but the one thing Liam Williams is not going to do he's not going to sit around waiting and hoping he's going to be working towards that world, world title fight every fight he has is a building process towards that I'm 99% that the world title fight will be my next after after Robinson so it's just about getting past him first looking good making sure I get no injuries no you know no slip-ups and we're all good to go I'm, I'm ready when Dimitris Andrade is <laughs> I would love to get Chris Eubank Jr. I think stylistically it's, it's one of the best fights out there um, in and around the middleweight division. So I think it'd be a real a good dust up for the fans and a really exciting fight. So it's about time he grew a pair of balls and, and uh, you know, sign the line and sign on the dotted line and get it on. Yeah.